Hey YouTube, it's me again. Just wanted to continue with my series on some basic firearms terminology. And here we're going to go over some terms for a rifle. They apply to most long guns, including shotguns. Um, I guess we'll just start from the far end over here and work our way to the right. I guess I should preface this by saying I already checked the gun. The magazine's empty, the gun's empty. I just didn't want to do all that on camera. But um, the most basic place to start is the stock. The stock is this entire plastic piece right here that runs the length of the gun and it supports the actual metal piece that goes inside the plastic. Um, the back part of the stock here is called the butt stock because it's the butt of the gun. This area right here along the very end is called the butt and the distance from the butt to the trigger is called the length of pull. This uh, particular stock has an adjustable butt stock which is also referred to as an adjustable length of pull. Um, also a lot of stocks will have an adjustable cheek rest which the cheek rest is right here and as they adjust it they can adjust it higher or lower depending on where their scope is and how their eye meets the scope. Um, beyond that I've got a sling on this one. It's jerry-rigged so don't make fun of me <laughs> but this is what you would call a one-point sling because it is attached to the rifle at only one point. If it were a two-point sling it might be attached to this swivel back here and maybe one more lock up here or something. So the number of points on a sling is how many points of the rifle it's attached to. Uh, moving forward from there we have on this one a vertical pistol grip. Um, this part up here is called the bolt and the bolt is um, part of what's called the action which is the moving parts of the rifle. On this particular rifle this is the bolt carrier, not the bolt itself. The um, bolt itself is inside. And you can see it in that lower portion there. This part right down inside there is the bolt. And it contains, it's called the bolt because it's the part of the gun that contains the firing pin, which you can see there at the center of that circle and that's hit by the hammer which is released when you pull the trigger so you pull the trigger it releases the hammer which hits the firing pin the firing pin drives into the back of the primer which ignites the gunpowder shooting the bullet down the barrel and out of the gun that's your most basic firearms function or at least as basic as I can break it down um, below the bolt at least when it's closed is the magazine. Some magazines are detachable, others are fixed. Uh, you'll often hear a magazine referred to as a fixed magazine or box magazine. This particular magazine is detachable, which obviously means that I can take it away from the gun, put a separate magazine in there when mine's empty. The area where the magazine was just pulled out of, the I guess hole if you will in the bottom of the gun, is called the magazine well. And uh, when people are checking guns, as I said I did earlier, you can see there's nothing in the magazine well now because I pulled the magazine out, which was empty. And there's nothing in the chamber. The chamber is the part of the barrel in front of the bolt that holds the cartridge before it's fired. This, of course, being the barrel. The inside front right here is the chamber and the very front end of the barrel where the bullet comes out of is the muzzle. In general there are three types of rifle. Bolt action, semi-automatic, and fully automatic. This rifle is semi-automatic. If it were bolt action then after every time I fired the gun I would have to work the bolt before I could fire another round. Because it's semi-automatic, every time I squeeze the trigger, the gun will fire. If it were fully automatic, the gun would continue to fire as long as I held the trigger down, stopping only when I let go. The way the semi-automatic gun works 
is that, like I said before, pull the trigger, camera's released. Hits the firing pin, which hits the primer, igniting the gunpowder, sending the bullet down the gun. Once the bullet gets past this point, however, the excess gas pushing it along, some of it will be vented back up into this part here, which is called the gas tube. Very creative name. That'll push a piston back through this, called the upper handguard, which will actually shoot a little connector rod right out of here and push the bolt back for me. And then the final basic parts of the firearm, if you could not already tell, would be the front sight here. Looks something like that. And the rear sight right back here. This is this one in particular is called a leaf sight. And of course I've got a scope on this one. And that's mounted on what's called a Picatinny rail. And I've also got a Picatinny rail on top of my front hand guard. So that's it for uh, rifle basics at least. Thanks for watching.